greedy in-laws say I forced my father-in-law to give us more inheritance money. Yeah, I know, but hear me out. My wife and I have, had, a great relationship with her parents and Sil. A few weeks ago was my sister's birthday so we did a barbecue. The two sides of the family don't mix, my sis has never met Sil, so it's not weird we didn't invite them. My wife mentioned the barbecue to Sil who said how much they always enjoy leftovers from our BBQs, so my wife offered her a box. She said yes and we left it at the in-laws for her. Since then every time we've gone to the in-laws my Sil slash Bill's cars have been in the lay-by outside. We asked Phil, he says Bill parks each night, walks home, fetches Sil's car and drives back, then walks home again. He does this in reverse each morning. He told Phil there's parking issues at home. Lockdown is relaxed so yesterday we saw everybody all at once in my in-laws garden. Again, both cars were parked in the lay-by outside so I asked how come they took two cars. My Bill said parking is really difficult where they live, not true, and he just prefers to park where he knows there will be a space. He had walked there, taken a car home then driven everyone back. My wife said could he try and squeeze up because parking there makes it so much easier with baby and toddler compared to crossing the road but he said no, you can't get three cars on there, you can. My Sil said not nice when something's used up before you get yours is it? We didn't ask what she meant. Last night my wife texted her sister, apparently we have upset them badly and the car thing is payment. We had no idea but it starts from when my wife's grandma died a year ago. Her will was very outdated and paid for my wife and Sil to get driving lessons. They both already drive so her dad just split the money down the middle between them. It was about 10,000 pounds. A godsend for us we had a fairly new car so traded up to a proper dad wagon. We had 1,800 pounds left which we gave back, we didn't know but this was, then given to Sil. This started problems because Sil slash Bill worked out that we got 18,000 pounds for a car, trade in plus 8k from grandma, and they only got 12,000 pounds. They think all the money should have gone to one pool then split in half, instead they got our leftovers. They have been looking at everything we do as an insult and the barbecue we sent was the last straw. My Sil referred to it as table scraps and said it was insulting. This morning we went to the in-laws to talk about it and I said to my wife if they ask why you're asking are you going to explain that, Sil, is being a big old greedy twat? And it turns out my Sil was in the garden. She shouted what did you f-i-n-g call me and now I'm obviously in trouble. She kept yelling so I took the dog and walked home. My wife sent me a message do you want me to tell her you said sorry and I said haha no and she responded not helping. I am pretty certain I was not the asshole here originally, but I'd appreciate an outside perspective. Now my big mouth has upset my wife slash in-laws which does make me in the wrong for sure on that side. More info. So, first of all, I'm in the UK and I was definitely trying to use the term lightly. My mill referred to the postman as a cheeky twat just yesterday for taking a shortcut across her lawn so it's in pretty common use in the family. Screaming FK in front of children isn't though, and I am probably getting the blame for that. Someone else just said to me well you didn't build the bonfire alone but you definitely threw the match which I think sums it up pretty well. My wife says she's on my side but before I opened my mouth big and wide like always there weren't any sides, just a misunderstanding. Now, let me give a detailed explanation of the grandma's inheritance debacle. So. My wife's grandma died without a proper will and everything went to my fill. Her grandma was 94 when she died and it always said since she was. Ooh, 70 that she never wanted to go into an old folks home. 2. Allow that to happen. My fill drove up there 2-3 times a week for at least the last 10 years. That's a 110 mile round trip each time and in the last few months before she died it was every day, except when my work travel let me call in so he could have a day off. Anyway, amongst her things my fill found a notebook, like a half will and half diary and spent months and months trying to work out what his mother would have wanted for everyone and then took to sharing out his money accordingly. This is how he split that he gave both families 8k initially, this was from grandma's estate, Phil reached out to every family member he could and gave everyone 2k each, our youngest wasn't born yet but he insisted on including her. This caused one of the problems, my Sil and Bill think we pressured Phil into this. His mother was always worried about anyone feeling left out and this is 100% what she would have wanted, although many of us tried to persuade him to keep more for himself. He then spent about 6 months working out his mom's finances, she had little bits of money all over, literally dozens of accounts, and the car money came out of that, an investment account with about 20k in it. She had written that she had specifically opened this account for driving lessons slash cars for my wife and her sister. So we spent what we got on a car upgrade and returned the rest. We felt this honored her wishes but didn't want to take advantage of Phil when he is retired and we're not, and it was his money. He also sold her bungalow and we had to stop him from trying to give all that away too. Definitely, none of us have the right to feel hard done by. We also got to go on holiday with the family because grandma had left several thousand pounds in an account specifically for that. It was three weeks in Italy and the best holiday I've ever had. Sil and her family didn't come because Bill had just started his own business and couldn't come away. I have now found out they wanted to go but had to ask Phil for their share in cash because they were really struggling with money so when we sent them postcards and took them gifts it was like rubbing salt into the wound but we honestly didn't realize and we were really sorry my niece and nephew couldn't come. In summary, our family and Sil's family both got 8k initially, split 2k each for two parents and two kids in each family, then 10k more each a few months later, and the holiday, meaning each family got a total of 18k. From our share, we returned 1.8k. Anyway, with this whole drama, it would have probably been better if we had not returned the money. My wife says there is more stuff and she will talk to me about it later. I will wait and see what she says but I am starting to think I am definitely in the wrong here. Update.
I have talked to my wife, she has been talking to her sister all afternoon and she is probably going to stay at her mum's tonight to talk more. From what has been said today it looks like an honest misunderstanding has got out of hand and my sill and Bill have taken a lot of things badly that I really didn't, T mean, I am very thick skinned and always think ah, they probably didn't, T mean it like that to anything offensive and it has caused problems in the past when I forget not everyone thinks this way. My big mouth has got me in trouble a lot in the past. My sill was uncomfortable raising this and Bill started parking the cars in that way so that my wife would notice and they could talk it through. Unfortunately we have not really paid attention and they thought we were deliberately refusing to mention it. I have listed some things below that my wife has talked about today and I 100% see where everyone is coming from but I genuinely didn't know most of this was going on and didn't mean to upset anyone. Dash my Phil included our unborn daughter in the inheritance from his mum. Sill and Bill are convinced I pressured him into this. When she was born he gave her a check for £1,000, he has done this for all his grandkids, and I said something like wow, the richest baby in all the land. And they both took this badly, like I had won the argument and was gloating. They have it in their heads that I think I am entitled to inheritance because I used to visit their grandma, but it was only because my work took me close and their dad was driving over a hundred miles every day to look after her. Phil had settled this but when I said that it just confirmed their suspicions. Dash the first time we saw them after Corona started being a thing my bill told me he quit his job in February to start his own business I said ooh bad timing. Meaning that with CV19 it is an awful time to try and get a business going. Both Bill and Sill took this very badly and believed I was criticizing his business idea. I definitely am not, it is not an area I know anything about, but I didn't notice how upset they were. Dash the thing with the car I have already explained but this is where the whole leftovers thing comes from. When her dad gave them the extra money he said it was our leftovers as a joke. I never used this phrase and I did not know he had given this money to them. She told my wife that they have to have two cars and could not afford what we got, a Kia Sportage, and when I took it round to show them I was really rubbing it in her husband's face. This I feel really awful about because I did ring him on my way home and I did want to show off. I have never had a car that knew before. I genuinely didn't know they had money problems. Dash in the past few months I have said a lot of things that looking back really does look like I was trying to get at them. When lockdown started they didn't have a PC so I got them our laptop and printer so the kids could do their schoolwork. Bill got some games for it but they wouldn't run, it's not a gaming PC. So he wasted his money there which caused a big fight. Sill asked me by text how old the laptop was and I replied to no, a couple of years, which she took again as leftovers. When I got her text I did not realize an argument was going on at home. Dash when I got the laptop I saw our old Xbox 360 and we in the cupboard and said we might as well pass them on. We're never going to use them again. They are not a tech heavy family and have never had a console to my knowledge so my nephew and niece were real happy but Bill knows that is some old tech and was not impressed. Again I didn't, T know this. On a family zoom call I asked my nephew if he'd played Skyrim and when he said no I made a big show of saying I only gave him the Xbox so we could talk about Skyrim for hours and he should play it. Well after the call he told Sil slash Bill that I said I had given the Xbox to him not the family and he should be allowed to play it, I don't think I am to blame for this argument but it is definitely my words that have led to it. Dash the barbecue thing, I love cooking and whenever I do barbecue I keep going for several hours to do barbecue boxes for various family and friends, I believe they are quite generous, for example the ones after my sister's birthday each had half a chicken and along with some ribs, sausages and a steak skewer, I always always call these boxes leftovers so no one feels awkward taking it, it is not meant to indicate that it isn't good food or anything. When I took them to my in-laws no one was in and the boxes were not the same, no spicy coatings for mill. So I wrote, Silas lovely leftovers in marker pen on her box and put them both in the fridge. After the thing with the car, the laptop, the Xbox and everything it really really looked like I was just trying to rub it in that we have more money than them and make her as angry as possible. So yeah I have not been trying to upset anyone but with my big mouth, I can see from their point of view I am 100% the asshole. Each individual thing I can kind of explain but when you take it all together it's pretty awful. I know people are saying I'm not at fault and I appreciate that. It is helping me feel better about things, but Sill slash Bill have been arguing a lot over the last few months and every single argument they can trace back to something I've said or done which kicked it off in one way or another. A lot of the time they thought I knew about an argument they had, or like the money thing with my Phil, but I honestly didn't know and didn't realize my comments were upsetting them. I didn't mean to starts to wear thin when you hear the 10th different way you caused a screaming match. I can remember my own granddad saying to me after I dropped something on his head just because it was an accident doesn't mean it didn't hurt and I need to respect that I have caused a lot of pain that hurts just the same regardless of how it was meant at the time. And BTW. My wife didn't even mention the name calling from this morning when she came home.